All right, today going to do a quick video on this Chris Boomer uh, two tube reverse preamp. Um, Chris again is a very basic amp, no frills, no spills, just a uh, basic um, grounded grid um, power tubes. Um, on the front, we just got a power switch, transmit standby switch. AM SSB just a delay for the relay tune and they labeled it drive even though that's a load um, has nothing to do with drive basically tune and load even though they labeled it drive I don't know why maybe because it looks good to a buyer then a uh, main power uh, light and a transmit light no meter uh, very basic amp this one I do have the covers for it. It looks good, but um, people like to see the insides, and I don't feel like putting the covers on to show what it looks like and then taking them off so you can see the inside. So I just left the covers off and I'm gonna show you the insides of it. I'm gonna carefully turn it because it is on and live right now. It uses two J six JU six tubes which is the small version of the 6LQ6 9-pin family. Um, they're about two-thirds the size of a 6LQ6 and probably about the same power. They're a little more than half the um, plate dissipation or total output power of a 6LQ6 tube. Um, like any uh, sweep tube, they're a little bit pricey, but they're not crazy pricey like the 6LQ6s are. I guess if you wanted to push it hard, I wouldn't, because you see that little transformer in there. It's not going to take over, um, you know, 100, 150 watts, and it's doing 50 now, average, and uh, might hit 100 peak. And I'm not hitting it hard with this little um, three and a half watt radio at all. Actually, I tried the little tram doing one watt into it, and it only did 30 watts. And I'm like, I could do better than that. So I just hooked a little three wide uh, radio on it and um, should be tuned up no preamp just basic uh, tubes transformer regular pi output with tune and load like I said earlier and over here is the circuit board with the uh, main relay um, high voltage uh, diodes uh, key and circuit and underneath it's got, uh, you know, the wiring to the tubes and the um, high voltage caps are underneath. This one's been recapped and got good tubes in it. Not great. 85% um, tubes and uh, um, not hitting it hard at all with the radio. We'll put it on standby and go to the 20 watt uh, scale and show you what the radio is putting into it. Three and a half watts audio. Audio, audio, talking four. <whistles> Whistling the six, not a lot of swing to this radio. I haven't tried to peek it or do anything with it yet. I got this on eBay for a song and a dance, so pretty happy with that. It's got really good ears on it. Only reason I kept it up here. Um, and we'll show what the radio's doing on peak right quick. Audio, audio. In about 15 watts peak. Not a whole lot to drive this uh, two tube amp, you know, and no driver tube. So this amp probably could take a little bit more. But anyway, we're going to turn it on. 200 watt scale should be on average, I think. And uh, did key in 40. Audio, audio, audio. Talking about 45. Whistling over 60, and again, that's bird watts. This meter's calibrated to a bird, and I'm on a dummy load. No, no false watts here. Perfect match. And last, we're just gonna show it on peak. Audio, 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 audio. Doing about 90 peak. Whistling to 80. Audio. If I hit it harder, it'd probably do, you know, a buck and a quarter. But um, that's what it does with a little mud duck radio going into it. Audio. 
Audio. Nice clean, uh, Chris Boomer. Okay, that's it for this one. Bye.